everybody another video here for you today but i do one while i'm waiting for my dinner to get done we are going to go down to the uk this is the lake district lake district national park just looking around here this is an area where discovery was made and a story came out earlier today but here's a view from up here there was a mound going back maybe four thousand years found up here and there are some other ruins down here this area looked very interesting to me. Just go down and take a look here. I'm sure, great view from up here, and there is. There appears to be stonework up here. That is, I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. Probably the ruins of something. This is the first time I'm looking at this, and that appears to be a stone structure made by somebody at some time. Here's another view from the area. But somewhere in this region, a discovery was made, a mound, going back 4,000 years, and it really relates to some of my Ancient America videos. So let's just read. I will leave a few websites below. Not many pics with this story. It just came out. It says, once monumental final resting place of a probable prehistoric chieftain, and potentially his shaman, has been discovered in southwest England. It's one of the most fascinating archaeological discoveries in southern Britain in recent years. Significantly, the duo formed part of a remarkable social and political process which changed human history and shapes our world today. That's a pretty remarkable claim. He had been buried in around 2200 BC with a 20 centimeter long copper dagger with a pummel made of whalebone, an amber bead, flint lighting kit for special cowhide rugs, and an extremely fine archer wrist guard made out of a particularly valued stone quarried or gathered near the top of the mountain in the lake district it says the stone used in his wrist guard was obtained near the top of harrison's stickle let's go take a look here's harrison's stickle right here and that's really close to the ruins i showed you right here at the beginning that's where he got the rock from right here this goes into reasons why they think it's a shaman buried here four thousand years ago he was buried with deer antlers on his head in a seated position. And how many videos from ancient America did I mention the deer antlers or people found in a seated position? I just find that connection very interesting. This artifact was found in Denmark in a peat bog. I think that's what I read, but ancient people with the deer antlers there. Here's a page from an old book written about, I don't know, over 100 years ago, The Antlered King. Copper found in this grave and deer antlers from the mound builders. Same as in the UK there. Here's one pick from the general area. And they say there, not only is this 4,200 year old burial up here, but also burials coming from as recently as 900 years ago, and maybe 3,000 years ago. I just thought that was very interesting. Here's that area where those ruins are. I'm not too familiar with what's up here or what time period they come from, but somewhere in this region, there was a mound, a 4,200 year old mound they are stating with a shaman buried in it and another person. Pretty interesting place here. I will leave links below. That is my video coming from the Lakes District here. Brand new discovery, the story just came out. The connections to ancient America and the mound builders, well, if I didn't know the location of this story, I thought it was coming from ancient America. This certainly looks like places we have talked about in Ohio with these mounds and circular earthworks here. Chillicothe, Marietta, Portsmouth. I can go on here for a while. If you have any information on some of these other ruins up here, I noticed a lot of these places up here have names attached. Please leave that information below. That is a quickie right before dinner. It's starting to smell good. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very safe day.